Homicide numbers in the city of St. Louis paint a bleak picture. 206 reported this year. That's compared to 155 in all of last year. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kay Quinn. Ann Ulrich has the night off. And I'm Mike Bush. 2020 has already reached its highest homicide rate per resident since 1993. The I-Team's PJ Randawa takes a deep dive into the numbers affecting some neighborhoods more than others. In some St. Louis neighborhoods, crime scene tape doesn't come down for long. In Walnut Park West, there have been 34 homicide reports in the last five years. That's a lot for a neighborhood with just about 3,000 residents. It's right next to Walnut Park East and Wells Goodfellow, where homicide rates have been almost as high. Those three neighborhoods fall within Hayden's rectangle of increased police presence. Measuring the violence keeps Richard Rosenfeld busy. He's the head of the criminology department at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. St. Louis has two homicide problems. The most immediate problem is the big uptick we've seen this summer and other cities have seen the same thing. August in St. Louis has been especially deadly with the highest number of homicide reports in a single month for at least five years. That combined with a history of high homicide rates hits neighborhoods like Walnut Park the hardest. It's a function of persistent and high poverty rates in the city, uh, persisting levels of joblessness, especially now uh, given uh, the impact of COVID on the economy, uh, continuing high levels of racial segregation. Reducing violence is the focus of several law enforcement initiatives like Hayden's Rectangles, Cure Violence, and the Department of Justice's Operation Legend, which came to St. Louis in August. During the pandemic, law enforcement says it's harder to see efforts making a difference. Police presence and police activity are way, way down in this year compared to last year at the same time. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, uh, we've had to quarantine people. We've had... Um, you know, we've had social uh, uh, civil unrest, so we've had to uh, deploy resources in a lot of places, uh, which causes us to lose visibility uh, at times. Major Day says Operation Legend has been a big help to police, making more than 300 arrests for violent crime in St. Louis, 33 of those for homicide. But they are very essential in locating these subjects wanted for homicide. Uh, so it's been a, I mean, it's been successful. That's, that's, a, that's a huge amount of police work in the last six weeks. We have a complete breakdown of these homicide figures on our website. Look for this story on KSDK.com. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side.